What's up, Helix users, HX Stompers, Podco, no, sorry, still not yet. Today, we are going to just build a preset from scratch using all of the new features from the 3.1 update. If you guys have not updated yet, you are wasting your time. Go update right now. The oversampling has made this into a totally different animal. Everything feels different. Everything sounds better. And there's just a lot more clarity and definition, in my opinion, to everything. Even your previously existing presets are going to sound better with the oversampling stuff. Not what this video is about. Save that for another one. We are going to build something from scratch today. Let's get right into it. So for the demo, I'm going to be using my Les Paul. Y'all know and love. 79 Custom Limited Edition. So I haven't even really messed with this yet. I kind of plugged it in once. I kind of plugged it in quickly in my first video on 3.1 and I didn't actually get to, you know, spend time making it sound good. But it sounded great as it was on its own. I'm trying to get my mouse to work and it's it's not. Okay, so I'm going to go with the, the Mandarin Rocker as it is. My next thing I'm going to do is a dual cab. I'm going to go to Cabinets, Dual. And for one of these, I'm pr I, again, I'm just kind of... Uh, Shooting in the dark here with things that I normally like. And let's go with Interstate there. I'm going to throw the 4038 ribbon because that's a nice dark sound. And then I'm going to throw the 57 on the greenbacks. And then for now, so if you know when you use dual cabs, if you're not familiar with dual cabs, this is actually set to stereo, meaning that you're going to hear one cabinet in the left and one cabinet in the right. I have no idea why it's like that. I don't, I'm not a fan of that personally. But what I'm going to do, normally I would use an EQ block or a compressor or something to sum the cabinets to mono. So instead of hearing one cabinet here, one cabinet here, it's going to sum them right to the middle. So for that, I'm going to use our new handy dandy retro reel. So the Retro Reel is an analog tape simulator that's supposed to make you feel and sound like you're recording to tape. So I thought that would be a great, a great thing to put here right after the microphones because that's how you'd be recording to tape, right? The microphones would be going to the tape machine. So I figured that would be a nice thing to try there. And reverbs, let's put one of each. Oh, can't do that. Let's put the reverbs on the second path. Okay, and now let's put the rat distortion up front. Ratatouille. And I'm going to put my noise gate on. There we go, that's better. So I can talk and you can hear me without interruption. Okay, so here we go as is. I'm gonna keep everything off. Let's turn the reverb off right now. Just straight up amp sound with the tape emulator. <laughs> So usual suspect with a little bit more gain. Um, I'm going to bring some of the gain in the bass way down. Okay, I like that. I kind of like where the mids are and... Maybe a little less treble. Channel volume's fine. Let's mess with the sag. I don't know where I'm gonna like this yet, so I'm gonna engage pedal edit mode. So right now I have, I'm controlling the sag with my foot here using pedal edit mode. So here it is with zero sag. And sag all the way up. kind of like the sag to be there. Um, 
I like to jack up my biases a little bit. Cool, I think that's a fine starting point. Let's uh, roll the guitar volume down. Maybe tune up one time. That's so telly-like. That's in the middle position on the Les Paul. Something like that. Okay, so let's now... I'm gonna keep the tape emulator just at the stock setting for now. We'll talk about that later. Um, let's go with some spring reverb. Ooh, low drip. One and a half springs. I'm gonna bring the high cut down because I think the springs tend to get a little bright. Mix down to about 30, there about. Um, back to about eight on the controls for the Les Paul. Six and a half on the bridge. Still a little less mix. And that to me sounds and feels like a real spring reverb as a deluxe reverb fanatic. Sweet. Okay, let's see what the Ratatouille's about. Now I'm going full out bridge pick. Not bad. I'm going to assign that to a stomp box here. Thank you, foot switch one. I'm also going to make this reverb foot switch nine so we can just switch these. So now when I hit that, it's my reverb swap. And now on HX Stomp, you can customize this name. I'm not doing that right now, though. So here's the Ratatouille bypass. We got to dial in that other hall reverb now. Okay. Hall reverb. Actually, I'm also going to throw in a... Now I'm just scatterbrained here. I'm going to throw in a volume pedal here. So sometimes weird things like that happens. All I did was assign it to B expression pedal one. For some reason it came up default to expression two. Okay, so let's go to the hall reverb. So I like this for swells. I'm gonna crank on that a little bit so we can do some cool swelling. <laughs> get some pre-delay um, a lot less damp or not more damping yeah I want I want a pretty damp I don't mind the motion um, high cut I'm gonna bring all the way down also it 
Maybe that's why it sounds weird, because this one is also engaged. There we go. Mix down, motion up. I think that's a really solid bass tone. Okay, I wasn't going to do it, but I'm going to try Mr. Euclidean Euclid's Delay. Yeah, this is one I'm going to need to learn. Sorry, I did not put the time into learning this one because I'm not a big uh, delay dancer person. Skip that one for now, for me personally at least. If you guys want me to figure that one out, uh, let me know in the comments. Let's assign this to a foot switch too and let's hear now what, what a good job this is doing. What this sounds like, the retro reel. <laughs> So it just adds that little bit of motion, a little bit of movement to the notes and makes it have that nice analog tape effect. I think it's really cool as is. You can mess with some of the settings. I personally, I don't mind it. Maybe a little bit of a high cut and a touch of saturation and a little bit of texture. And I think that that's really all it needs. <laughs> So you guys let me know what you think of the retro reel. So I'll upload this one for free to Custom Tome when this video hits 300 thumbs up. So when you guys are here, if you want, if you like the way it sounds, hit the like button. When this gets to 300, I will post this free on Custom Tone for you guys to download. If you want me to direct message it to you in the comments, just uh, comment below that you want it and I'll reply to your comment when it goes live. So thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one.